Sorry about the delay guys, I had to restart my computer because the mic wasn't picking up correctly. But now, just let me know in the chat if this sounds fine. And then I've just got to sort Skyrim out and we should be able to go.
What's up guys? How are you all doing? Welcome back to part two of the Dark Brotherhood stream and today it's gonna get pretty cool because the Night Mother has arrived in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Let me just sort out this webcam. I always get it wrong every time at the start of the stream. I'm like trying to fix it up so it's right and then I end up sorting it out anyway. All right, so let me get Skyrim back up and so I can see the chat there. All sorted. There we go. Had to restart my computer earlier because um, I messed up something with my microphone. But we just completed a quest, our first sort of proper assassination mission for the Dark Brotherhood. And now we're going to hand that into Astrid. And then a lot more of the storyline is going to be sort of like unfold. So there's going to be quite a bit of talking to start off with just to sort of explain the whole story. But let's go and talk to Astrid. She's already looking at the map, planning her next assassination. Let's just remain silent. She knows I've done it. <laughs> Is something wrong? The guy's clearly mad, like he's talking to the Night Mother. No sound, oh for goodness sake. <laughs> okay, let, let me fix this. I think I know the reason. So, if I... Video? Audio. Okay, so... We can hear that now. Yeah, okay. You guys should be able to hear this now. I'm going to reload so. and start this bit again so you can actually hear what's going on. <laughs> okay. Just tell me when you guys can hear it so I know it is working. OBS says it's picking it up, so it should be okay. But there's a delay, so I'll know in a few seconds. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. Okay, let's go and talk to Astrid again. And this time, you guys oh, will actually be able to hear what she's saying. So, of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Is something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Astrid, you're being a bit paranoid. I'm just going to remain silent. I'm just the silent assassin. You must understand. If Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. What do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like... Inside the Night Mother's coffin. But that seems so disrespectful. <laughs> All you can say, yes, the coffin. That's perfect. I love necrophiliaism. <laughs> nope, it seems disrespectful, Astrid. I'm sorry. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Okay, right we can ask Pardon. her some other stuff about the Night Mother or about Cicero and what he's planning, which is quite interesting. So let's ask her a little bit about Cicero and what she thinks about him. Isn't it obvious? 
As the Night Mother's keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim. The queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. Well, Cicero does think he's doing the right thing for the Night Mother, but he's clearly, like, in love with her or something. So, any idea who would conspire with Cicero? That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? The very thought breaks my heart. So she believes there's a traitor among them. Is there anything else I should know? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. Alright. See you later, Astrid. I'm gonna go and see what Cicero's doing in this chamber with the Night Mother's body. <laughs> oh, this is where we have to go, where the Night Mother is stored. Close the door behind us. Close this door. Here we go, this is the Night Mother's coffin. Oh, it's locked. She actually locked it with a novice lock. Well, luckily it, for me, it is a novice lock, otherwise we'd be here for hours. Oh, she's looking pretty fit. <laughs> I wonder if we can walk in backwards or if it matters. Oh, okay, no, we're stuck now. Hello? I just heard some humming and that was it. Is the game frozen? Let's try quick saving and then loading the quick save. That was weird. A conversation's meant to start at this point. Are we alone? There we go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Alone. <laughs> Sweet solitude. No one will hear us. Disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others. I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. Creepy. What about you? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Mm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. What a creeper. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? <laughs> Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Jesus. Dear Cicero, such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand. Yeah. Poor Cicero has failed you. 
poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. Oh. What? <laughs> what treachery? Defiler, debaser, and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! <laughs> Explain yourself! He is not happy. Speak, worm! <laughs> Just coming out of the Night Mother's coffin after he's been talking to her. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! <laughs> Jesus, calm down, Cicero. She said to tell you darkness raises when silence dies. She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then <laughs> it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> He's hysterical. Oh, hail the listener. <laughs> oh, it's Astrid. My Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! I don't know who acted Cicero, but he's just such a good actor. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I don't really want- yeah, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. He wants to go on a date with me. What? Astrid's so jealous. Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yep, it sounds very convenient, but it's true. By Sithis. And? What did she say? Well, Astro, she doesn't really like you, but I must speak to someone named Amand in Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. So, I should go to Volenrude. I should talk to this man? Hmm... No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. 
listener, you are the listener. I have served Mother well, I have. <laughs> Good, Cicero. Pats on head. So now we can ask him about the Night Mother. Will the Night Mother speak to me again? <laughs> Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. <laughs> He's such a weirdo. What exactly does a listener do then, Cicero? Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must, for her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood incarnate. <laughs> My goodness, Cicero. Did you want to be the listener? He definitely did. Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. Oh, sad face emoji. The silence became almost... maddening. Oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Cicero, you crazed lunatic. You excited? Oh, you should be. He has the These best the laugh of any actor in the game. Right, I'm just gonna close this because it's creeping me out a little bit. And then let's have a look at our quest journal because I don't know. Okay, it's telling us to receive a contract from Nazir because I was wondering if we could just go straight to um, the person the Night Mother told us to talk to, but we should probably just carry on and let Astrid have her time to think and see how we should proceed. And I'm pretty happy to take another contract from Nazir. He's over here, hiding from us. We actually need to turn in the last two contracts we did in the previous video as well. So we should get a few hundred gold. Nazir's snacking on Still some bread. Here. What's the matter, brother? Nafir is dead. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. That's sarcasm. Here's your payment. <laughs> That's sarcasm, bro. <laughs> How much gold does he give me? All of the gold. 500 gold. Pretty good. And then this other person we killed. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty <laughs> nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. <laughs> Why is he giving it to me over here? He was like, payment. I'm standing here, Nazir, seriously. So, this other person we killed? Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Okay, so now give me the new contracts. Oh, we can get training in light armor, but I don't actually need that. So, Astrid wants me to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Oh, I like a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. I'll pass on the second one. Happy hunting. No, don't get to pass. Okay, tell me about these two people. Let's hear about the vampire first. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. I think they live at Half Moon Mill, but I'm not 100% sure. So tell me about Lurbuk, the orc. He is, by all accounts, 
the worst bard in all of Skyrim. <laughs> Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. <laughs> Such banter. So what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. Best friends, then. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Oh. Azir, you naughty boy. Okay, so I now know. let's go and take out these contracts. Kill Hearn and kill Lurbuk. We'll go outside and then we'll have a look where they are on the map. And figure out which one we're going to kill first. Then we can kill them in some exciting ways. <laughs> the assassination missions are probably one of my favourite parts about the Dark Brotherhood. I've been meaning to play the um, the Dark Brotherhood in the Elder Scrolls Online as well. I've got the downloadable content for it, but Jesus, hello Lydia. How long have you been waiting out here? <laughs> yeah, I haven't actually started playing it yet, but um, I'm looking forward to doing that at some point. Maybe you guys can let me know in the chat how good you guys thought it was. Yeah, Half Moon Mill. So this is where the vampire is going to be. You cannot fast travel when enemies are nearby. Lydia, why haven't you cleared out the area? Okay, now I can fast travel. That was really weird. So we're going to go to Half Moon Mill first. And I think we discovered this before in the main playthrough, which is why it's already on my map. But yeah, this is the mill. So we've got to kill the bloke, but... um. But actually, let me show you guys this, because it's pretty cool. If you come here beforehand, I did do like a legendary location video on this location already. If you come to the back of the mill here, you'll find, you can like discover that they're vampires before this quest line. So there's a troll skull here. And then you just see all these bloody rags and bones and like, you know, human body parts that have just been hidden in the hay here. See, human skull there. So something's amiss in their slaughterhouse. They've got like human body parts in there. But I'm already thinking like, bro, what's going on here? They've also got like some, oh shit, is that a dragon? Hopefully it's not too close to us. I'm looking around for the guy and apparently he's inside. And usually vampires have quite a high sneak skill. So I reckon I'm gonna get my bow out. No, actually we'll go for a dagger. We'll go for the dagger. I think that's going to make the most sense here, guys. So, we'll go for the dagger of consuming. And then I'll poison it with... We want something that's going to help me out here. We'll save the paralysis poison in case the wife's in there. And I'll just use a weak poison on the dagger. I think that should be fine. As long as Lydia doesn't come in here and, like, give me away completely. Yeah, you can also, yeah, if you have the Dawnguard DLC installed, you can tell they're vampires when you look at their eyes. I don't know if I can get a good view without waking them up here, guys. Let's see if I can. Oh, of course, their eyes are shut when they're sleeping. They might open their eyes. So, Lydia, I need you to take out the other one as I take out this one. I wonder if this will work. Let me know if you have anything you need. So, I need you to do something. Yes, thing. What is it? So, okay. What do you need? Attack her. And I'll kill him at the same time. Oh god. Lydia? Lydia! Oh, Lydia, you're terrible. You're meant to help me out with this assassination, and you failed miserably. I thought she was going to go around and assassinate the other one for me. So there you go. Vampires brutally murdered in their bed. Key to Half Moon Mill. We don't need that. I don't know why I took the sack of flour. Apparently this is important to me. Uh, Lockpick. Yeah, nothing else. Another clue as to why they're vampires is this book that they have somewhere. I think it's under the bed, actually. Yeah, here we go. Physicalities of the werewolf. So obviously, like, werewolves hate vampires, blah, blah, blah. This is why they've got this book, so they can recognize them and kill them if they ever come lurking around the mill. But yeah, pretty cool location, because there's, like, lots of subtle hints, if you pay attention, that they are actually vampires. Look at Lydia, she looks pretty fine today. Right, let's go to our next assassination location, which is conveniently in Morthal. I can't remember what he said about this orc now. 
I don't need the key, that's the thing. There's no point in me taking it. Why does everyone always ask me to teabag people after I assassinate them? So it's dark, which I guess is pretty good for me. We can work in these conditions. This guy is... I can't remember what Nazir told me about him. He's over here at the edge of the town, though, so... I should just be able to break into his house and kill him. Need something? More side in. Is he the innkeeper? I honestly can't remember. This is why I like like taking like not playing the game too much, and then just going through all the quests again. Cause oh, he's actually in the inn here. Sixty-three gold. Quite a rich orc, Lydia. Jeez. He's got six gold, a lockpick, and a silver garnet ring. Get Rex on. Thirty times sneak damage. Because we have the shrouded gloves on. Oh, I want to take that silver garnet ring. So now he's dead. That was really easy. Those are very as easy assassinations. But if you want a place dry to spend Though she did say that um, the orc the would be really easy. And the vampire was easy just because we caught them sleeping at daytime, which is rather strange to be honest. I will sell you this and the sack of flour for zero gold, because I'm a true master salesman. I'm going to keep my sweet rolls See though. Ya. See you later. Alright, let's go back to Nazir and then hopefully we can carry on with the main quest line. Oh, there's some Nin root there. I need that to make some more poisons because we're going to need some better poisons later on as we go on. Where are... Okay, here we go. Dark Brother of Sanctuary. We need to talk. Okay, Astrid. What is it? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. Exactly. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Oh yeah, the orc was a bard. Thanks for reminding me. We should have let him, like, play an instrument and kill him while he was doing it. Probably would have got, like, a few cheers from other people. Brother? So we've got to go and speak to one of our brothers about this situation here at the sanctuary. I'm just trying to imagine Excuse me? Well, actually, one sec. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Don't to mention I'm her husband. I was going to say. She has a t Let's go and get the um, hand in these contracts to Nazir first. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that sink. Your payment, as per the usual. Made 2k gold so no quickly. Sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. <laughs> Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. I don't know, a Khajiit vampire just sounds like weird. We already have really sharp teeth. I don't really need to be a vampire as well. Okay, so now we're going to go and talk, continue on with the main quest. Which I'm much more excited about than those little assassination missions that we did. Man, we, we could have killed the bard so much more creatively than I did. It's pissing down with rain right now, man. Volendron, or Volenrude. I don't know why I just make up words sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you can kill everyone in the Dark Brotherhood, but I, I suggest doing all their missions first. Make sure you grab this chest just outside the location before you head on inside. Oh, there's another chest here. I forgot about this one. I guess you can't really miss that one, though. And sometimes, yep, there's a flawless garnet in there. So let's go inside and be very sneaky. The reason I don't stream on Twitch is simply because um, I prefer it when a lot of like my subscribers are here on YouTube. So if they miss the stream, they can just come back and watch it in their own time. So that's, we're going to go on the left here. 
because I think he's just sitting with a bodyguard in this room. The first time I came to this location, where is, where is he? Is he around this side? What's that? Let me have a quick look on the map. Oh, he's this way. Because the first time I came to this location, I opened the door to him and I thought he was an enemy. Like, I, I just didn't read any of the dialogue, so I thought I had to assassinate him as a target. Oh, look, there's loads of dead Draga here. So I literally just fired an arrow right at his head. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. The Night Mother heard your plea. You have opened the door to darkness, little man. Oh, I know, I know. But I'm so glad you're here. Please, allow me to state my business. Surely your time is as valuable as my own. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Dun dun dun! Leaders rise and fall. Business is business. You want us to kill the Emperor of Tamriel? I mean, yeah, this seems more professional. We could just remain silent, that would be a bit creepy. I really want to inquire why he wants us to kill him, though. That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, you know? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your superior. Rexus? The items. Come on, Rexus! Get a move on, Rexus. Come on, what are you doing? He got a bit lost there, didn't you, mate? <laughs> what is he doing? Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain Here. everything that needs Here. to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Can I? Okay, let's have a quick look at these items you gave me. An amulet, right? Jeweled amulet, 1,000 gold. To be honest, that just looks really cool. That actually looks a bit like the Emperor's red diamond sigil. Apart from it's got... It's got like runes on the outside of it. I can't remember. Is that meant to be like a... Um, a symbol of like a cult or something? I don't know what else he gave me. Maybe like a, a diamond or something. Is there something else you need? Well... Who are you really? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? <laughs> Why do this? Why have the Emperor assassinated? In the year 3E41, e Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Well, require sig will require significant, sig little bit, significant compensation. Can you pay the price? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, there will be gold, a fortune in gold, but so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. ha <laughs> ha He's not kidding about all that gold, by the way. Can I trust your servant to keep this secret? Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. Fair enough. You must deliver those items to your superior. I will also I take this 19 gold 
from your chest. Consider it a tip. And now let's go outside and we have to go back to Astrid and explain to her. Actually, let's have a quick look at this letter because we didn't even read that, did we? Oh, look, it's got a little, little black stamp on it there. As was, already, oh there, as was already communicated to your subordinate, I wish to hire your organization for basically to kill the Emperor. Mm, okay, well, nothing that interesting. Oh, okay, so it explains what the contract is. Oh my god, it explains all the contracts. Let's not spoil it. You guys can read that if you want in your own time. But we're just gonna, okay, getting a bit stuck on this random ancient battle axe here. Let's go back out to Astrid and go and talk to her. Actually, bros, I go to the Cloud District every day. Someone's told me not to read it. Well, I'm glad that I did not. Um, here we go, Dark Brotherhood. Thought it wasn't going to let me like click the map marker for a second. Yeah, people keep telling me to dab, man. Look, when we kill the Emperor, I will dab for you, okay? That's a promise. Then you guys can turn it into a gif or something. Whatever it is you people do these days. Hello there, Astrid. You're back. Good. Alright, so? Did you meet this Motier? What did he want? He wanted a hug. Motier wants us. Kill the Emperor. You're joking. Show Astrid the amulet and the sealed letter. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. You know that 1,000 gold to kill the Emperor? I mean, come on. Terrible. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. And everyone hated him. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim. And that was 200 years ago. Indeed. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... So, we'll accept the contract. <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. Hmm. Contemplation noises. What are you thinking, Astrid? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin, Delvin Mallory. Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... Uh, history. He can be trusted. Okay then. And if you note it, well, when we did scan read that letter, and one of the first assassinations you'll do on this map of Skyrim here is in solitude, and after you've assassinated them, you'll see a dagger appear on the map, and I'll come back and show you guys that later. But anyway, let's um, show... Okay, so we've got to go... But I feel like at the start of the Dark Brotherhood questline, you are basically just an errand boy. But it does set the scene, and it does make it pretty cool. So let me get on my horse now, and we're going to go over to Riften, literally on the other side of the map, to Thalcreef. I keep going right, and then we'll get to Riften just here. And we haven't actually joined the Thieves' Guild yet, so... Mistvale... Oh, for God's sake, why are there enemies nearby? No, there's not. Hey, now we can fast travel. Are you kidding me? Why you do this? If we go to Mistvale Keep, it's slightly quicker than going to the entrance to Riften. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. The start of the Dark Brotherhood is quite longed out, in my opinion. It was. It's not as good as it was in Oblivion, though it does have its moments. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? Well, actually, my I'm friend, what are you selling? Nothing but the be best of all. Sure, yeah, I will take hey. one. Here you go. Oh, and keep it quiet. This stuff isn't exactly easy to get a hold of. It. I would like my money back. I did not like the beverage that you provided. Oh, we've got a house key now. Oh, we've got someone else's house key. And he has a sweet row and a gold ruby necklace. Okay, we should probably throw this guy's corpse in the canal so no one discovers it. There we go. Now we'll go and speak to Delvin Mallory. Dun, 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 Lydia, are you with me? No, I think she left me outside. Fair enough. Yeah, the first quest is good when you actually get it, and it's quite fun to do, but, um, just a question of running those errands before you can get the quest. Set the scene. Let's go and chat to Delvin and give him this amulet. Oh, now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're able. The Ratway, well, it has a habit of swallowing up the uninvited. The Dark Brotherhood requires your services. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, oh, but we can discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? What can you tell me about this? Give Delvin the amulet. Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. I knew it. crafted for each member who have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Well, you buy it. Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. Very well, Malroy. So, a letter of credit. Let's actually have a quick look at um, what what this says. Letter of credit, here we go. So this letter is worth 15,000 septums, which is 15 times what the game told us the amulet was worth. Usable by any service. So if he dies, technically... We lose the amulet and the gold. Apparently, these days, that qualifies for a contract. So we're going to have to say to Astrid that we've done our job. You just got to the stream. Don't, don't worry, man. You haven't missed that much. We've just been sort of running errands. You did miss a couple of um, assassinations at the start of the video. But mainly, I just wanted to move it along quickly. So we can get to the most interesting, like, assassination missions that the Dark Brotherhood has. And now we've just got to fast travel back to Astrid in Falkreath. There we go. And talk to her. Let's head on inside. Skyrim the Running Simulator sends me to four, point, four corners of the map. Ah, you see, there you go. Now the dagger is in solitude. This is the next place where the assassination is going to take place. Tell me about it, Astrid. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Indeed it is. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Yes, here is his, here is his, here is his letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. 
Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. But by Sithis, I hope I'm making the right choice here. You may be an effective killer, but your command of guile leaves much to be desired. The sealed letter you delivered to me was mysteriously unsealed upon its arrival. <laughs> I can only assume you've read its contents. Sloppy. But moving on to business. <laughs> As you probably already know from reading the letter, you're going to a wedding. A wedding? What? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh yes, you've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Astra is coming on to me here, I can feel it. Who's the target? Well, the bride. I don't even know why this is a question, but I'm going to ask it nonetheless. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in Solitude. Ah. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. What did she say I had to do for a bonus? Okay, what's it? Let's have a look. I think it's really cool how they actually added that dialogue option in for, you know, if you did open the letter and read it, because you're not allowed to. I think that's quite funny. So, I'll receive a bonus if I kill Vicky. Is that it? As she addresses the crowd. So basically, slaughter her in the open. It just made me laugh because someone in the um, comment section said um off to solitude with you time to give the emperor some real motivation to visit skyrim because astrid said it was sloppy work and then people in the comment section said that was sloppy here so made me laugh okay so now we've got to go to solitude lydia you're definitely going to be staying yes, here thing. as you wish my thing well i don't know what do you need we'll take her with me back as you will my thing I, I like a challenge. Life. Okay, Lydia. Oh, I'm right. right behind you. That was a mod I had installed that let's clearly going, wasn't working. Then. Right, let's have a look on the map now, guys. And we can go over to Solitude, which is just here, to kill a lady at her very wedding. Yeah, I can't believe it, man. I'm almost at 750,000 subscribers. Thanks for reminding me, Kyle Ward. My, literally, since I started doing YouTube full-time um, in, in September, my channel's almost doubled in size. It's just absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. We're going to wait a couple of hours till it's daytime. Ah, it's still raining. I don't like rain. Go away, rain. Hopefully it lightens up a little bit for the wedding. Can't have a rainy wedding, guys. Come on. Alright, let's save the game here. Is uh, Lydia... Yeah, Lydia's actually coming with me on this assassination mission. Now, the difficult thing about this is... Is that the wedding is in that courtyard there. So, I'm going to leave Lydia here... I'm right behind you. ...as a distraction. As you wish, my thing. Okay, here we go, guys. I do believe there's like a... There's a unique weapon you can get... I can't remember exactly where it is, but um, I think if you talk to one of your companions, you speak of Skyrim like you know the land. No, it's people. Has the wedding already happened? I'm a little bit confused. But there is basically a unique bow around here and you can pick it up. I just can't remember exactly where it gets left or how you obtain it. I'll have to make a separate video about it sometime. 
This door is really wonky. Okay, sorry. Okay, so the crowd's coming out of the courtyard, I guess. So I need to wait until she addresses the crowd. Oh, there's the bow! I can see it! Yeah, you guys said on the left. There's a potion of the true shot and Fimriel's end and some elven arrows. So, okay, let's quickly get this bow out. Potion of the true shot increases your bow damage, so I'm definitely going to be able to insta kill her. But just in case, guys, we're going to take a potion. I mean, a, we're going to poison our bow. Thanks, guys, you all reminded me. Cheers for that. But I haven't looked at this weapon so long that I forgot where it was. So. Yeah, we've poisoned the bow, and now I want to take the potion of extra damage. You can, I think you can decide not to kill her, but um, obviously we want to kill her because I'm a savage. Is she leaving? I don't actually know. What's happening? Is she addressing the people? Where's she going now? Oh my god, I've actually missed. I don't think that counts as the special reward. Okay, what I'm going to have to do, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to reload the save from before. Because um, I think when I waited inside Solitude... Okay, so let's reload this save from before we fast traveled there. I'll wait a few hour hours so it happens in the daytime. And then we'll go there. Was that the wrong bow? <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize. Sorry, guys. So now if I wait a few hours, it'll be daytime. Because I was meant to kill her when she was talking to the crowd, because I waited a few hours when I actually arrived in Solitude. I think I effectively missed the wedding. Wrong bow. <laughs> I was detected. I wasn't a very good assassin, let's be honest. I think Lydia was detecting me, though, because none of the guards instantly picked up that I was even there. So now I'm going to run over there, and hopefully I won't miss it this time. And we also know where the bow is, so that's good. Second time lucky. Gotta get that reward, guys. Right, let's quickly get the potion of true shot, get the weapon, Fimril's end. I pit I used the elven bow last time, didn't I? <laughs> Get the gargoyle. What do you mean the gargoyle? Nothing. Right, let me uh, get my elven arrows out. I only have a few of them. And then we can use the poison again. Probably don't even need all this overkill, to be honest. I know those troublemaking stormcloaks refuse to submit to imperial authority. Can I put an arrow in her knee? Definitely. <laughs> What's Lydia doing? <laughs> Look at Lydia! The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. Does it matter if I shoot her in the knee now? My point exactly. I'm waiting for her to address the c the crowd, but um, you guys want me to shoot her from the balcony on top. Lydia, how the fuck did you go over here? Right, let me go on to the other balcony now. As long as I stay out of the way, and we'll shoot her from there. Okay, that was very that was very uh. Does it actually matter? I don't think it matters, guys. Can we make this jump? Probably not. I'm going to go around. <laughs> this balcony on top of... This is what you guys meant by a gargoyle. That's a dragon's head. Now she's going inside. Did it? Oh, hello. Oh, oh, we're meant to kill her from that ba... Okay, I, I see what you're saying now, guys. Right. 
see what you mean. Good people of solitude. My husband Aesgear and I thank you for coming to our reception. We thank you for sharing the love we have. Just there, just the knee. Oh! Victoria, no! Victoria, no! Lydia, what are you doing? No, Lydia! What have you done? What have you done, Lydia? Why have you brought the guards up here? Somebody help! I'm not so sure if I am being seen or not. Pretty sure they can see me. There's an Argonian assassin running after me. What the hell is this guy doing? Who is this? What is going on? Oh my god, I'm gonna get out of here before I get wrecked by someone. Why is the Argonian here? You guys are telling me to use the statue. Does the statue like fall down to her head if you kill her? Oh, I see. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. That sounds fun. We're gonna do that. I know this is the third time now, but I didn't even know you could do that, guys. And when the elves marched in okay, the let's do that. That sounds awesome. And everyone took up arms against them. Wasn't that treason? Long as I stay out of the way, Hello there. I'm gonna kill you. I'm just here to provide protection for His Eminence's cousin. So if we walk up to the top, I didn't know you could do that, guys. That's really cool. He's meant to be protecting me, is he? I see. Okay, here we go. We'll do it this time. Oh yeah, push loose gargoyle. Great. That's not a gargoyle though. That's definitely a dragon. Like, somebody's definitely named that incorrectly. Oh, wait an hour. Does that help? Lydia. Maybe we can tell Lydia to kill them. Let me know if you I need you to do something. Yes, what is it? What do you yeah, I can tell Lydia to... Oh no. It just says wait here, we can't tell Lydia to do it. Okay, they're coming up to the balcony now, guys. Nailed it. This kill was the sloppiest kill in history, Blitzfear. But it was pretty satisfying, killing her with an arrow to the Good knee, let's be honest. Victoria, no! Oh, Victoria! Where's the Argonian assassin gone? I can't see him. I really, I try to quickly see something. Can we loot her body to get that, those royal robes there? You can get the key to her house and you can also get the wedding dress. This is like the only place and the wedding wreath that you can get that wedding dress, I believe. Also, the wedding band. This this lady's rich, man. He's pretty well off. Okay, I'm going to get the potion of invisibility. Now we should just be able to sneak out of here. Hello. ordered me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand with the chaos Oh, so he shows up if you, like, mess up and people discover where you are. Someone can see me. I think it's just him. Because he's just following me. But he can just keep them busy. We should just be able to run out of here pretty easily. Oh, okay, so the Argonian was pretty much just sent as reassurance in case I messed up. Basically. There is a, a guard over there. I have to sneak past. There we go, we can fast travel now. So, let's go back to Astrid and tell her that we've made a massive kerfuffle, but the chat saved us and made me do the correct thing when we came to actually assassinate her. That was funny, we, we pretty much assassinated her three different ways.
Astrid, nothing went wrong. And now look, the next assassination in Dragon Bridge, that looks like, has been marked on our map. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Victoria Beach, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. He bled like a stuck pig. Literally, we fired her, we catapulted her off the balcony into the crowd. It couldn't have been any more bloody than it was. The blushing bride now serves Siphis in the void. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. 1,000 gold, summon spectral assassin added. So was my bonus just 1,000 gold and then you get the summon spectral assassin. Let's have a quick look at that. Why is it playing the combat music? Let me just reload. Hopefully it'll stop. Nope, it's going to keep going. This is a this is actually a bug, so we might have to reload the game if it doesn't if it persists for any much longer. Oh, one sec. No, there's a red dot in the sanctuary. Why is there a red dot in the sanctuary? Where is that? That's really weird. I don't know why there's a red dot there. Maybe Lydia's being attacked by a dragon outside. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to reload. That's really annoying. That combat music. Right. Let me just quit the game and I'll reload it. And then um, we can carry on playing. There's this bug that happens every now and again. Okay, the game's now updating. It's on 10%. Good. 20%. At least it's quick. Yeah, every now and again there's a bug in the game where it just keeps on playing you the combat music and it's just like, it's so loud and I'm trying to listen to the dialogue. 44%, 55%, almost there. Have a look what the chat's doing. What does my name stand for? It's meant to be entertainment. Um, what was it? Entertainment Strategy Online. But ESO was just named after... The, um, after I came up with that channel name. There we go, we can play it now. If it loads up and that red dot is still on my map, I'll be quite pissed. <laughs> yeah, people have been telling me to kill Nazim since the start of the video. <laughs> yeah, it's such an annoying bug, isn't it? <laughs> they're not bugs, they're features. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh my god, it's still playing. <laughs> I think there's just something outside the sanctuary. Right, I'm just going to have a quick look. By all means, just quickly skip forward. If you're watching this. There's going to be like a dragon outside or something really... I can still wait. There's literally nothing here. Hmm. Don't know why that was happening. But it stops now. All we have to do is go outside again and come back and reload the game. That's it to fix it. <laughs> have we not picked up this show yet? I know I have, yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's go and speak to Gabriella. She is actually a fellow archer, I believe. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Dab every quest done. She did. What are the details? 
With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. I understand. He will die. Hey, Osephus! He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. <laughs> do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Sounds like the worst bonus ever. <laughs> okay, so we're going to steal his travel schedule. And then which city would you like me to kill him in? <laughs> Do you know his schedule? Probably not. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would obviously be most beneficial. Tell me... <laughs> so people are telling me to wear the bride's dress. I'll definitely do that, guys. That sounds hilarious. So... What will killing him accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but... Distracted. Weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated. His family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Tell me about Dragonbridge. Well, we don't really need to know about that. So, what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? At the moment, it looks like everyone wants me to kill him in White Run. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Fair enough. What can you tell me about yourself? I don't really care about you, Gabriella. Let's go and assassinate the Emperor's bodyguard. Lydia, you were... Oh, Lydia's asleep while standing up. Interesting. Oh, okay, she's back. <laughs> right, so if we first go to Dragonbridge, we can probably steal his schedule from him. It might even be in his pocket. If he's a bit of an idiot, probably will be. Usually people in Skyrim are. Yeah, okay, we'll put on the wedding dress now, guys. This is currently my outfit. Dressed like a true assassin. Now. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> sandals. Are those sandals? They, those shoes look incredible. What? They're not sandals. Okay. And then the wedding dress. Yes. I'm wearing a wedding dress. And Victoria's wedding band. And, and obviously... <laughs> This is going to be my assassination outfit. Fantastic. I'm ready for everything. What's going on now? Oh my god, there's a dragon! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get in cover. Oh my god. Elder Gleam Dragon. Look, his wings are like falling apart. He's like 
part skeletal and part dragon. Where is he landing? Right, we've got to take out the dragon in the wedding dress, guys. Come on. I might actually have to put my circle on, though, because it gives me more bow damage. So let's put this back on so it doesn't take us an hour to kill him. <laughs> Where is he going? I'm still in combat, yet the dragon's a mile away. Oh, okay. Great place to land, Mr. Dragon. Oh, actually, I'm going to take my elven arrows and put the ancient Nordic ones back. Oh my god, it breathes green fire? My wedding dress was not ready for this encounter. Do you know what? This is probably the perfect time to go and steal the, um... The schedule of this Emperor's Bodyguard Commander. He's over here. This is him. Okay, apparently he's got a really high sneak skill. Oh, maybe it's the dragon that can see me. That could be the case. I can't pickpocket him because he's got his uh, sword drawn. We'll go into the outpost. He's probably just left it on the bench. Yeah, there it is. Don't mind me. Okay, so he goes to Solitude. The Emperor's Tower. Then he goes to... Maundus Evening... Oh, that's Monday Evening, Solitude Castle, Food and Sleep. Then he goes to Windtown, the Palace of the Kings. We're definitely not going to be able to kill him in Windtown, that's going to be hard. Riften, he goes to the Keep again. Not an ideal place to kill him. Whiterun, Dragon Reach. And then he goes to the Bannered Mare for Food and Sleep. So we can assassinate him in his sleep. Um, Markoth, Understone Keep, difficult. And then the guard tower, so we're not killing him out there. That's going to be so difficult. Um, don't repeat until... Okay, fair enough. Okay, sounds easy enough. So I just want to, like, hide behind... Ooh, amulet of Stendar. Don't really need that. Something can still see me, but I should be able to steal this. Yeah, he does not even bad an eyelid. The dragon can see me inside. Whoa. Okay, there it is. He's back. Hopefully the uh, Emperor's bodyguard will help me take out this dragon then. Right, here we go. He's actually attacking some of the guards now. I just want him to land in the village. Instead of going off on a crazy adventure somewhere. Okay, here, oh god, he's landing now. He's got, like, antlers and everything. It looks insane. This dragon is a mod, by the way, guys. I think it's, like, diverse dragons. It's cool. What? This bow swallows its enchantment so quickly. What's going on with the music? Okay, let me let me reload this save and see if it fixes the music. Because we have, it was playing like two songs at the same time just then. What's wrong with you, Skyrim? So yeah, this dragon is literally just doing its own thing. It's killed a cave bear. Look at that cave bear. <laughs> it's just perched there, chilling out. The dragon's going to get to Solitude before the um, Emperor's bodyguard does. Oh, it's actually landed there. Oh, it's breathing green fire. Come with me, Lydia. I don't know why you're running away from the dragon. We've got to kill it. That's a good idea. Use dragon rend. Why didn't I think of that? It's not like we've completed the main campaign or anything. I don't think that's in range, is it? Oh, it did work. But now it's a mile away. Can I hit it from here? Yeah, I had, it's, it's getting killed. It is dying, very slowly. And I am hitting it from all the way over here. I think there's actually some guards down there trying to kill it as well. Okay, it's coming back. Hopefully we can get Dragon Ren right again. There we go. Oh shit, that's not where you wanted it to land, is it, ESO? GTFO. Oh god! Oh my fucking god, it's angry. It doesn't like being told what to do. 
Okay, we should get a few more hits on it. And cast Dragon Rend again. Hopefully we can kill it now. I think Lydia... I don't know what Lydia's even doing. I think Lydia's actually in battle with it right now. Keep it up, Lydia. She's going to kill it. Oh, man. That's a lot of fire to... Oh, shit. She killed it. Well done, Lydia. Look at this magnificent beast, guys. How cool does this look? Like, it's got, like, weird antlers or something. I think it's really cool. Right, so... 300 gold of ruby. I'm going to leave the bones here. I don't really need them. Nah, we don't need to heal, man. We have a wedding dress. We're invincible. What are you on about? Okay, so... Can't remember what set, what day it even said. We'll have a look in the schedule that he arrives in White Run. I think it was like Tuesday or Thursday, maybe. Kill Nazim. Yeah, we were actually arrived in White Run, so we could potentially kill Nazim. Uh, okay, so if I go on my quests, breaching security. Oh, we got his schedule now. Let's have a look at his schedule again. See what day it was. Perdus, Perdus evening. Thursday. I'm ninety nine percent sure. Oh, it's Perdus. So we've got to wait until Perdus. Which is going to take us. It's going to take us a few days to wait. That actually, guys. So just ask me questions in the chat, and I'll respond. Did I actually pick up the soul? I don't even remember. I think I might have just. Um, it is Thursday. Yeah, I thought it was. Someone said it's Monday. I think it is Thursday. They kind of sound the same, but they're not. Right now, it's Friedus. Gotta wait for that day. Weirdly, this does work out really well, yeah. Lordus. What day is that meant to be? I'm just going to keep waiting until it says the right thing. Then we can go to the Bannered Mare and just murder him. Worth. How old am I? I'm 23. It's Sundas. I feel like they just chop the, the day off each end of the word, put das on it instead. I guess it's like more Nordic. The chat's going so, so fast now I've asked people to ask questions, I can't even read it. Still sun das. Now it's Morn Lass, so he's in solitude at the moment. Do some. Oh, look! It just said Dragon Soul absorbed. <laughs> Only took a few days for the Dragon Soul to get here. So he should be in solitude, right? Did the cat kill you? I don't know what you mean. What's my name? My name's Danny. Born Das. Will I play the new Elder Scrolls game when it comes out? Definitely. I've actually recently brought Oh, Tired Das. Is that let me let me quickly That's not the day, is it? That's Windhelm. Okay, we're looking for Thursday. On Wednesday, he just spends a day traveling, doesn't he? Killing Nazim would be a good way to, um, you know, use some time up. But I also think that if I kill him now, I won't be able to make a separate video on killing him. I was in college. I finished a degree. No, it's still Tuesday. Now it's midass, which I guess is midweek. Yeah, I was doing a degree in architecture, and I finished that and decided to do YouTube full time. We'll, I'll kill Nazim at the end of the stream if it pleases you. <laughs> We're almost there guys, we've, we've almost waited 
almost a week, yeah, like six days you've had to wait. So I can actually assassinate this guy. Windshear isn't available yet until later on in the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, is that the right day? Turdas. Is that, is that the one? <gasps> He's in White Run in Dragon Reach, and then he goes to the Bannered Mare. Yes. Yes? Why, hello there. It's AM on Turdas, so he's going to be in Dragon Reach, like, you know, in a few hours. But we want to kill him in the Bannered Mare. Oh! Texture map failed! What does that mean? Is it working now? Let me see if YouTube's still. Okay. There we go. Is that working? Hmm. Good. Don't know what happened there, guys. <laughs> I just saw the chat light up with stream ended. What's happening? And, okay, now it's working. Good. Good. What? I, it was really weird. There was like an error message. And it was like something to do with the textures. So I was like, Skyrim crashed. I was like, what the hell's happened? I thought it was like a mod that like went wrong, but then I realized after like the chat lit up that it said OBS had stopped working, it wasn't on anymore. So <laughs> I've loaded it back up now and everything's good. Don't know why that happened, but we're now in the Bannered Mare. Clearly the OBS was like, nah man, you've been waiting for six days, I'm just going to end the stream here and cut your losses. <laughs> okay, here we go. I think this guy's gonna be here after. It said in the afternoon he was gonna arrive, right? Oh, that's not who I need to kill. It would be funny if we killed him too, though. Maybe we should do that. I'm meant to arrive here somewhere. Hmm. Go outside a second and just see. Does it actually tell you where he is on the map? Because right now I think it's saying he's in Dragon Reach. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do you want to wait until he comes to the Bannered Mare? So I just keep waiting an hour until he moves location. Man, what is he doing? Like, giving the yard... Oh, okay, now he's in the band, man. I going to say, man, what was he, him and the yard doing? Like, seriously. I mean, the jar. There he is. He's just chilling out there. We're going to kill him now. Every, no one. He'll, he's looking at me. Need something? Hello? Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Well, you look very angry. After I kill you, I'm going to kill the Emperor. <laughs> Travelling alone can be so dangerous. Is that a threat? Back off, or by the eight I'll cleave that arrogant head from its shoulders. You are trying my patience, citizen. Back Can I can I say the other thing? I really wanna say the other thing. Keep back, citizen. How do you guys want me to kill him? With a dagger? If I say this, is he going to just, like, go hostile? After I kill you, I'm going to kill the Emperor. What? Filthy assassin. We'll see who lies dead. Ah, oh, no, he's going to kill me now. I don't want to do it that way. Now, now, okay, now I'll talk to him and remain silent and see what he says. Keep back, citizen. I Keep back, citizen. I am extremely annoyed. Remain silent. I'm sorry, but I really don't have time for this. <laughs> Move along. Okay, yeah. magic. People are saying magic. You can't sneak attack with magic. I've got a funny idea. We'll get Lydia to assassinate him. Lydia, I need you to do something. Just assassinate the Emperor's bodyguard for me, please. I can't select him from this side. Okay, Open this down. door for me, Lydia. Thank you, Lydia. Right. I'm gonna sit on the rafters here. Attack! Okay, got it. She's got it. She's got it. Lydia's got this, guys. Last mistake. <laughs> oh, Lydia's just coming around with a sword drawn, like a true assassin. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And I'm just standing here in a wedding dress. I wonder who's going to win this fight. We're definitely in it for the long haul. Oh no, the White Run Guards are joining in. This isn't fair. 
Leave her alone. Come on, Lydia. I believe you have the power to assassinate him. Come on. Oh my god. It's turned into an absolute... Lydia's just encountered a shitstorm of people trying to kill her. She's still, she's still doing okay. How much health does this guy have left, though? He has, like, half health left. I think Lydia's doing quite well, to be honest. Might have to help. Oh my god, he's tanking these arrows, not taking any damage. What's my bounty? I'm the I'm Giles Thane. I demand you let me go at once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't <laughs> realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. Even the Yarl's influence has its limit. Be more fuck? careful. Did I just get away with trying to assassinate the Emperor's bodyguard? I failed. Well, Lydia failed. Lydia did most of the work. Look, all this blood everywhere. Apparently, he didn't care though. He's just gone back to eating a bread sandwich. Someone said Fustro Dar, so that's definitely happening. <laughs> Lydia's back at it again. Take those arrows to the head, you savage. I'm in a wedding dress. Take me seriously, goddammit. Come on, Lydia. I'll let you finish him off. I believe. No, come on, Lydia. Lydia, you're so close. I'll take care of the guard, Lydia. All you need to do is get around here and punch him in the face and he'll die. Come on, Lydia. Oh, she... Lydia is the worst assassin ever. Don't mind me. Only 40 gold for trying to assassinate the Emperor's bodyguard. Okay, let's actually go and properly assassinate him now. That was just funny. Right, okay. Oh, we should load We should load an earlier save so we don't have all the guards of Whiterun sitting in the same room as us when we assassinate him. Oh, hello there. Yeah? Yes. Uh, right. I think we're going to have to go for the... The dagger attack here, guys. I wonder... No, that's not going to work. I don't have enough... Things to make a poison. It's down on a... Yeah, just go for the weak poison. That's all we've got, unfortunately. Lydia? Don't be alarmed. Oh, okay. Nobody saw anything. We can actually take his armor as well, though. Letter from father. That makes me feel so bad. That makes me feel so bad. Okay, so the emperor is visiting. You must personally verify the security. Every city, okay? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I cannot do this alone. There is much work to be done here in Dragonbridge and elsewhere. And many of the arrangements still need to be made before the Emperor's arrival. I simply cannot afford to spend time travelling right now, but you know the seriousness of the task I sent you on. When he arrives, the Emperor may choose to visit the city in Skyrim that suits his whim. So we don't know where he's going right now. And it's basically just telling him to do a good job from his father, and we've just killed him. And you can get the Pentalus Oculus armour. Did she just take something? What's that? Why is he still a target? He's dead. Start journal. Plant. Oh, we've got to plant the letter as well. Um. Consider adoption. <laughs> Just put that in his corpse as well. Um. Where is it? So. Incriminating letter. Oh, okay, so it's basically just saying, you know, he's actually the bad guy and almost like planning the Emperor's assassination, so making him a traitor, a naked traitor at that. So now he's going to leave. He's just sitting here naked, like, doesn't care. Right, we'll give his... You can... 
So let let the guards know that this guy this guy died for me, yeah? I'll leave him here for you to attend to. You still need to remove that blood stain from the incident. <laughs> oh yes, Miss Holder. Yeah, get sweep up all that blood. We should assassinate someone else before we leave, just because oh, did you need something? I still have bloodlust. Look at Lydia. He's going to assassinate someone for me, apparently. Someone do something. What's going on? Oh god, the guard's attacking Lydia. Lydia, what have you done? Let's leave, quickly. His dad is going to kill us. It says, wait, enemies are nearby. We may have to flee White Run in our wedding dress, guys. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Will we even be able to escape White Run without dying? Quickly, run! Flee! Don't worry, we Oh my days! All the guards of Whiterun are here. We'll come back and kill Nazim, don't worry guys. Stop! Right, if I... Oh shit, hello. She looks bloody angry. So it's okay man, it's cool. Ooh! That hurt. Well, you increased my armor level, so thanks for that. Bay. Ow! Don't need to hit my horse, do you now? That was a bit savage. Come on, show me what you've okay, what we can do, guys, is we will... Oh my days, these white run gods are an angry. I'm going to try and get away with murder right now. So if I draw my sword, press X and sheath it, and then talk to one of these guards, they do not want to talk. These guards are not messing around. Don't hit me with an arrow, because I will pretty much die if you do. We're going to have to flee from Whiterun, guys. Lydia has just, like, ruined me. She was the reason we got discovered. <laughs> the bride came back from the dead to kill him. Okay, we should be able to fast travel back to the sanctuary now. Then I'll come back and kill Nazim. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Nazim is dead to all. This isn't the first live stream we've done, though it might be the first you have seen. Welcome, if you're new. We're almost at a thousand likes, can't believe it. That's amazing. Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. I've killed him. He is dead. Yes. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. Uh-oh. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Okay. So, now, before we do this, we're going to go and kill Nazim. So, save the game. I'm gonna get my, get my assassination gear back on. So I'm kitted out and ready. How how do you guys want me to kill him? What what should we do this time? What's the plan? Okay. Got boots? No, we've got other boots. Oh yeah, we'll wear this. We'll just dress up completely as an assassin. And we'll put back this uh, archery circle on. There we go. All I need now is to equip Enreal's bow. Enreal's end, sorry. And then we can go out and kill Nazim. <laughs> oh, I've got a funny idea of how we could kill him. So you guys are saying stab him with a fork. We'd have to go and get a fork if we did that, though, and that can take a while. Um, right. Why am I looking at the map like a simpleton? One thing I do want to check before we go is quickly Olivia's token where do I take this again I can't remember was she in white run I can't even remember where she said she was oh enemies are nearby why does it always say that if you just run over here there are no longer enemies and okay, now we can fast travel to white run thank you arrow to the knee Arrow to the nether region. Brawl to the death. No, because he'll just run away. Illusion? I don't have any illusion spells on this character, sadly. 
Punch him to death. Use your shout. Okay, I'm liking that one so far. Why is everyone running? Oh look, here's, here's Nazim. Oh god, what the fuck is that? Jesus, what? Why is this lady still attacking me? Oh god, everyone's still attacking me. Oh Jesus. Oh god. I forgot that the guards of Whiterun didn't like me very much. I'd kind of like to turn myself in, but um... So if I fire at this guard, and then I go... Maybe if I get a... How do you, um... I just want to surrender! All I wanted to do was surrender to your allegiance. <laughs> I thought it would be funny if we could like start in prison and then go and assassinate him from prison. Okay, let's let's fast travel back there, but in sneak mode. We're just gonna sneak past all of the guards of White Run, and then we're gonna kill him. I was like, why is she still after me? This lady has it in for me. <laughs> okay, are we okay, we're hidden? Right, I need to use a potion. Frostbite venom. And light feet. Okay, Lydia. Still here. Wait here. As you wish, my thing. Good. Huh? You should just not go anywhere near me. We're gonna have to get to Nazim stealthily. Look at all those guards that just came out of that building. Jesus. Dagger in the knee. A lot of people are saying daggers. Do I actually have a scroll? Scrolls? Fireball. Mass paralysis. That's what we're using. Where is he? There he is. He's just gone into the market. Oh shit. Someone's seen me. Somebody has seen me. This is good, guys. Where are right, there he is, okay, he's right there. Mass paralysis, we've got that. Dodge this arrow here. How did that even work? That didn't work, did it? Okay. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work! Oh god! Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get the spell off. The only other way we can clear our bounty is by going to the Thieves Guild. I guess I could just talk to one of the guards before they attack me and see if that works. Hmm. Yeah, the helmet is bugged. You can wear two things at the same time. I did mention that in the video I made about the armor. But, um... You can do that, yeah. Phosphrodar into the Cloud District. Yeah, that's, that's a good shout. So, if we... Fuss Rodar. Oh my god, they've already seen me. We're already screwed. Mass paralysis. Powers. That'll be fun. Okay, okay, I got an idea. Um, so if we use the Armanetic Foreshout, then we use the Mass Paralysis spell. Everything will be good. Yeah, just dodge that guy's arrow quickly. Where's Nazim? Nazim, where are you? I can't see where he is. There he is! There we go, now I'm going to use mass paralysis. Quickly! Quickly! You're going to get killed! Go, go, go! Right, did I get him? Yes, I got him! Nazim is absolutely powerless. This is the perfect setup. Okay, so now we use the Spectral Assassin power to summon the Spectral- OH MY GOD! <laughs> the Spectral Assassin, he's not killing the Zine! <laughs> he's not killing him! <laughs> we were so close! Do you know what, I'm just gonna kill him with a bow. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill him with a bow. <laughs> Oh my god, it was so close to the perfect Nazim death ever. It would have been fantastic. Never should have come here. They've already discovered me. 
last mistake. Sure. I just want I just want to um talk to you, bro. Literally, I just want to surrender and pay your fine. Let me pay a fine, please, my friend guard. God damn it. Get Rex on. Right, do you know what? We're just gonna go right in here and we're gonna assassinate him with a bow. Where are you, Nazim? There he is. If I die, I don't even care. As long as you die, I'll be happy. Oh god, we're actually gonna die here. Oh, oh man! Nazim is very well protected, guys. I was going to use a potion of invisibility, but um, he's just too well protected. Literally, I hate Nazim so much now that I'm going to have to make a video entirely based on how we kill him. I don't have the calm spell, unfortunately. There we go. YOLO. Now I have a few seconds in which I can kill. There he is, he's, he's fucking running, he knows. He knows I'm coming for him. Oh, okay. Where? There he is! He's, there's, there's too many people here! Ow, ow. Oh my god! There are like. There are 30 guards here. I do have the slow time shout, yeah. But I used the unrelenting force shout. So it didn't go well for me. Just a top 10 video. Top 10 ways to kill Nazim. Top 10 ways to make Nazim visit the Cloud District. <laughs> okay, I could reload my last save. That's a good shout, yeah. And then we can do it in a creative way. Yeah, alright, we'll do that. So we'll reload the Bannered Mare save. And then we can kill him properly. Stop! You, oh, hello! You know what? I really yes. want to kill him again. He's <laughs> an absolute savage. Now we can go to Nazim's home. And we can murder him while he's sleeping. Here we go. Number one way to kill Nazim. <laughs> Break into his house. And savagely murder him. <laughs> okay, here we go. The drunken huntsman. For some reason he lives in this shop. Need something? I don't Talk need anything. Lydia. Hello. Hey, hands off. Why did she say that? Is he? Oh, he's not here yet. We're gonna have to wait a few hours until he gets back from the pub. There he is. He's here. Now we can kill him. Scrolls? Mass paralysis. <laughs> gonna get paralyzed as he gets into bed there we go he's just like flinching here like some savage now we need the magical spell of summon spectral assassin and I also need to get my fists out so I can punch him to death oh no I didn't want a dagger didn't want a dagger spectral assassin kill Nazim there we go Come no, he's not finished the job. Oh no, the White Run guards are here. I'm gonna have to finish it myself. <laughs> Absolutely knocked out against the bedpost. Oh, the farmhouse. Thank you. Well, guys, I will continue on with the Dark Brotherhood DLC next stream, but I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Thanks very much for watching. Please do like the video if you did enjoy it. I really enjoyed killing Nazim at the end there. That was just a bit of banter. But um, yeah, we'll continue on with the, the um, Dark Brotherhood DLC next stream. Hopefully it will be this week. But thanks very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day and goodbye.